oil field sites are made to contain all the oil that's are stored in those tanks and you can see it's working the trucks pumping right there but the reason i'm showing you this mike was i want to show you something interesting right here you see two tanker trailers right there now we're going to pan back over across the i-40 here to where the tornado crossed the i-40 absolutely took down some trees here and and you're going to see a white pickup laying right there with a car on top of it as Jason zooms in on it. All the trees are down to pick up. I don't know how anybody survived if they were in that pickup and car. But now I'm going to use this kind of as a training tool here. As he tilts up, I want to show you something, Mike. You're going to see one of these oil tankers and one of these frack tanks from a mile away laying in this debris. And there are no drag marks from the oil tank site to this gully right here where they, they came to rest. So like you said many times before, there's some tornadoes you can survive above ground. This is one of the tornadoes that you can got not survive above ground. You've got to be below ground because if you had something like that coming through the side of your house, there's nothing you can do. This is Jim Goddard reporting live from Bob Moore, Chopper 4. Back to you, Mike.